Game three of the men's 20s, not too long from getting underway. And it is a decider. New South Wales taking game one, 10-7. Queensland fighting back this morning and winning 7-5. There's been a couple of tries in between in the margins. Doesn't really reflect how close the battle has been, Jordan. Uh, in the men's 20s division. It's been highly entertaining footy from these two teams. Yeah, it's been excellent from both sides. Uh, they've both shown that they can score tries and uh, game two a little bit different. Probably both showed that they can defend a little bit better as well. So uh, game three decided New South Wales with the tap. So both teams make their way out onto the field. What will unfold here in the decider? We're just coming off extra time in the women's 27s. Can we get something similar here in the men's 20s? I believe we could, and uh, I'm, I'm predicting a high-scoring game. A couple of players to look out for that have been good so far in the series. Lennon for New South Wales. Moffat, Eagleton's been great. And then on uh, Queensland side, Alex Condon, Zane Cox and Jardel Bob probably dominant in game two. Ed Moffat looking for the penalty, doesn't get it. There's Lennon, sends that left to right. He's just got an absolute ripping left to right. We saw him really stamping his claim in game two earlier on this morning. He got New South Wales back into the match. Is Adida. Takes the touch. In contact on one. Queensland. In their substitution box on the far side of the field. Pop. Plays it. Hits the deck. And it sees a little mistake in the play of the ball. Gives New South Wales the football back right on the halfway line. There was a big flip from game one to game two. Game one, New South Wales dominated the, dominated the midfield. And Queensland, game two, dominated the midfield. So... I think that's where it's won in this one. Helano, ball in one hand. Edwards trying to get on the outside. Queensland now putting the ball through the hands. Edwards and Matters linking up. Bob down the side. Condon flows on nicely. Skip it for Queensland. And Rolf, nice pick up from Carlton. Step. Props ripped a beautiful ball oh, wow. it in the air. You know, hands on him as he did it. Super impressive though. Gladys in there from Kayla Matters. New South Wales. Catalano feeds it. And I believe we will see Caleb Fowler uh, cut royalty and Craig Matters take the field in the decider later on as well. So coming from great ped pedigree, Caleb Matters. New South Wales went in and trying to flick it out the back. Ooh, they will get six to go here. I think might be the call, unless there is a penalty. It is six to go. It's going to squeeze through. And they are arguing the point there, Jane Dembicho. I must say, from here, it looked like it came off his body without the hands getting touched there. But Jordan Randall controlling things in the midfield. Lennon trying to squeeze in underneath. Carlton makes the touch. Back Hunter. Ball in hand now. No half in place for New South Wales. Two touches up their sleeve. Hunter dances. Lennon gets it. 
sends it left to right again. Matters makes the touch. One to come here for New South Wales. Back in towards the middle of the field. They put it through the hands. I did a nice left foot step. This is the last now. I might not have known that they still had one to come. I don't think Queensland knew either. Alex Condon was starting to run off the field. As their, their subset seems to be that uh, the close box side link actually runs straight off. Beautiful early ball out to Matters. Gets him on the front foot here, Queensland. It's Charlton. Follows up Soup. Castles away from one. Eventually make the touch. Ward. Rolls forward. Look, look out the back and just bouncing there in front of Taylor Matters. Another one with a strong series so far, Guy Carlton. Oh, no one in front here. Yeah. Matters just uh, taking the opportunity there to get a substitution. Good awareness from New South Wales. Just a couple of metres. A nervous moment there for Queensland. Oh, full pass, in. I think. Yeah, Zach Fenrick picks up on that one. And Queensland going to have a great opportunity to attack here. Edwards comes down the right-hand side of the field. And as Paddy Crow and Gardell Bob come onto the field, Fox on the sweep. And Crow holds it. Edwards having a dive at the line. Back out to the seven metre line. Edwards taking his time. Plays it now. Here's Crow. We'll miss setting one up on the previous play for Queensland. Cox in the half. Loops it over the top and just gets away. Peter was there to make the touch if it was caught. It just gets out so comfortably as well. Adida just puts feet for days. We've already spoken about it through this series. He's probably one of the quickest people at this tournament. Nice swish, great play the ball there from Catalano. Just away behind the back there of Edwards. Brings them back in possession. Pro going forward, penalty to Queensland. New South Wales offside. Referees setting the tone for this one. Good players trying to get up and put pressure on. They'll find Mbichi who finds Condon. Early ball off the fingertips. Connor Rolf. Penalty here to Queensland. Ooh. Charlton. I believe that's for a forward pass from the half. And Queensland with a great opportunity. Condon and Beachy working together. Looking at back. That's his mate. Lennon over there to answer the call. Rolf well, plays it. Condon diving in, trying to take advantage of offside players and actually lost the ball. That's the call. Oh, half chance if he's able to hold on to possession there. The ball gets down before the touch is made. Try time for Queensland. No points on the board at the moment in the men's 20s decider. This is a good set here from New South Wales. Rolling onto the field. Oh, and almost, yeah, I think it was play on to that point. Yep. Queensland player called offside. Referees determining that New South Wales took their advantage by playing through that situation. Give a penalty away now to Queensland. A little bit of a collision in the ruck. A real grind in this game at the moment. Both teams still scoreless. Castles comes out to the right hand side of the field. Ward plays it. Edwards holds the ball in one hand. As well as you like. Prendergast plays it. Edwards now turns on the gas. Ward. Probably could have stayed out on that one. I think Seamus Edwards had his middle beat and probably had a chance to get in goals. The switch brought the New South Wales defence back into play and they win themselves a penalty here. 
and with Moffat coming onto the field with Lennon are going to have a great opportunity to go 1 0 up here. Pantry out to William Hickey. The boot in the play the ball. Sees another penalty go towards New South Wales. Nebel into half. Moffat, Lennon. Nebel sweeps. Try to get through the middle. Up the tough line. Trying to dive in between two middle defenders. Nebel again, dancing. Pat backwards. Moffat gives him the early ball. Looping around the corner as he was losing his footing. Prendick, ah, oh, so he didn't get that one. No, picked up on the referee's side. So I think they might have called ball down. It definitely looked like there wasn't yeah. any contact. He was reaching for it, reaching for it, and just couldn't quite get there. Had a couple of swipes at him, didn't he? Prendergast just with a little error there. Normally very safe. Uh, one positive for Queensland with Prendergast, I believe he will be a part of the next series as well, still in school. So very young himself, but definitely up to this level. Fortunate enough to play with him at the recent NTL. Prendergast, so one of those upcoming players but New South Wales with Catalano Jr. now. Couldn't reel that one in. Hemi Nebel. Up front, oh. Catalano, the contact. Really experienced players, Australian youth representative. And I believe also uh, was just in the Australian squad, the last uh, Oz Open. Mm. Uh, I believe I saw him uh, running around maybe with the mix. I could be wrong, but definitely one of those players to watch out for in the future. And we've got a ball down again. Oh, I think ball down. Queensland straight back onto it. Edwards. Back in possession. Cruising up through the field. Offloads the Cox. Does a nice little 360. Little pirouette. Right footwork. Gets it back here. Cox trying to barrow in underneath. I think that's down. I think he's pulling the middle offside. He does just that, Jordan Randall. It's all high fives. For all the Queenslanders, they finally get opening points. Jeez, it took a while to be able to crack this one as we have a look at the replay. Cox, yeah, short of the line. Definitely got past the first defender. William Eagleton in the number six. The two sixes going one on one. And it is saying Cox he gets the first points on the board. Queensland up by one. And then point is to side up. Lennon tries to slip in underneath. Great touch from Ryan Ward and Connor Rolfe there. Moffat sends it over the top of the fingertips there of Kaya Dita. Just want to finish the set off on their side of the field. Cross from half. Queensland put it through the hands. All the way over to Caleb Matters. He comes back into Connor Rolfe. And it's from half oh, again no. and off the fingertips there of Ward. They did all the hard work of shifting it all the way across and probably we're going to have momentum into that set, but unfortunately for Ryan Ward, I believe this is going to be a forward pass from the half. Yes, and uh, I think they might have been in trouble there, Queensland, if, if the pass goes back. Gets Queensland over the halfway line. Crow, a direct set. This one from Queensland. Edwards, Jinping. No half in place. Yeah. Realised he went away from his half. End up just holding on to the ball. Will be the next best option. Oh, got the late swing. Sweep. They've got numbers out here as well. Edwards takes it on. Fires it through to Caleb Matters. Well, that is beautiful play from Queensland. How did they get those balls away before the New South Wales defence came over to shut that one down? That is... Classy footy from the young men. Jardel Bob off absolutely nothing. Just runs in. Little goosey flick pass as cool as you like. And Paddy Crow, Seamus Ed Edwards, great hands. Put 2 0. Queensland up 2 0. Any little margin, but we know it's probably not going to be enough. New South Wales back on the run. 
Nebel come back to the seven metre line. As the Catalano plays it, Nebel, they play pass about the back. Lennon tries to scoot. That's not Lennon, my apologies, from Watkins in the 13. He's going to get penalised for that as well. Just lobbing the ball up in the air. Prendergast puts it through the hands. He takes the first touch. Condon rolls over to the sideline. Fox on. Trying to roll on. Carlton in the half. Clean pick up. Fires it. Cox sums it up. Takes a little deflection and a dive in the corner as well. In Queensland, they are up and about now. Kai Russell finishes off another classy little bit of footy there from the Queenslanders. This is a really good start to this match for Queensland. You just see the drive of everyone. Cox flying onto the field, followed by Connor Rolfe and gives Guy Charlton a chance to pick up at speed and so much time. The perfect start for Queensland. And credit has to probably go to the players, but Chris Loth as well. I think they've fixed up the parts of the game that they weren't so great in in, in game one. And right now, much in control. Lennon comes back in field. Come back out. Zachary Hunter. Plays it on the seven. Who touches up their sleeve. Last one now. Lennon. Left to oh, right, good great. hands, and New South Wales will get there first. And it comes the way of Hugh Doherty on the right-hand side of the field. And it's that left to right again from Lennon. This is causing Queensland absolute heartache at the moment. This is hard to defend if you're Caleb Matters because I think you, you see the link jump for that and probably nearly takes that and still flies out to the wing. So great ball from Lennon. And definitely the hit back that New South Wales needed. Bob takes his time losing his footing. In the previous one, Cardell from half. Condon threads it through beautifully to Seamus Edwards. And all of a sudden, after it took 10 minutes to get the first points on the board, Queensland put on three. New South Wales score. Queensland, here's another one for you. And this is exactly what Queensland need to do now. Just as long as they keep going with New South Wales. That's a great ball, Alex Condon. We've mentioned it in the in the previous games. He has that little pump to him, can fire it from all angles. And Seamus Edwards with a great short hole there. And only the New South Wales, Judge Carlton. A little bit too aggressive in the touch, coming in from the side. Edwards plays it, sweep out the back. Watkins players offside here looking to take advantage and just flipped out of his hands. There will be a penalty towards New South Wales. Players offside from New South Wales. Watkins see just at the bottom of his screen heading over to the interchange area. And Nebel coming on in number four. He's going to sweep, get early ball. Carlton really having to get on the skates. Queensland, strong contact. Blowing that one down, and BG making the touch. Moffat, ball in hand. Edwards in the half. Nebel holds up the plate. They pick it up. Nebel coming in, yeah, offside there. And BG on the line. And New South Wales still keep themselves in the match, down by two. Great work there, New South Wales. Just happy to throw the ball around and then. Gets Jamin Beachy into a touch. And a, a play that's come into touch football of late is that delayed sort of punish. He picks up a couple of steps and then releases back to the link. Just holds the middle up, forcing him to be in a bad position to start. Great play, New South Wales. Fox now on the sweep. Prendergast in half. Looking for support. There's a bit of contact off the ball as well. Just loops one out. Hoping that it's going to connect up. They come for a forward pass, I think, is the call. Did end up outside the field of play. Don't mind the option there, Prendergast. Got rewarded with getting in goals. Obviously didn't execute the play, but used Pock as a decoy on the sweep. And Prendergast sliced through on that one. 
Watkins get away from one, gets away from two, oh. throws a dummy, goes himself, still going here, Watkins putting it on, loops it over the top, play on is still the call, the touch has been made, still Queensland players coming back on defence, they go down the short side and the touch has been made, Jardel Bob, oh, Queensland, alarm bells there, what an awesome play from Watkins coming onto the field and showing his speed. And they've given away a penalty as well. Jardel Bob, absolute scramble defence and great work from New South Wales and Watkins. But uh, two on one, probably for three touches. Jardel Bob, great defence there. Which is in roll, gets himself into half again, looping ball over the top too much on that one. Sails over the head, Ty Russell. He's caught in the corner, that very corner, not too long ago for Queensland. Clock starting to wind down now in the first half. Marone up by two at the moment. All two on the scoreboard. New South Wales come down the sideline, running back onto the field, ball in hand. Into the halfway line they go. Moffat ditches, receives the ball back. Lennon in the half, picks it up, throws a beautiful ball again, just dipping out in front of Dylan Bissett. Probably didn't have the, the balance there. I think it looked like he might have just been fallen over and still nearly gets it to the winger. So Lennon, obviously the danger man for New South Wales with that left, left to right pass. Carlton sees a little bit of space. Put the right foot as well. This to make the touch. Edwards, Prendergast. Beachy comes into half. A bit of space, Matters holds it, sends it late. Gets it, shuts that down for New South Wales. Black ball to Lennon. Edwards comes across and takes a breather. And Catalano now, steadying the ship. Pick up there. Lick it out the back, bat on. Ardita off the left foot. Still ball in hand here for New South Wales. Hooter goes in the background, flick around the back. Adida sends it midfield. Oh, that was half a chance. The boys throwing the footy around, making it exciting for us. The Queensland lead, half time, four touchdowns or four tries to two. Left the football to go to see who's going to be crowned the men's 20s champions in the State of Origin series this year. Queensland have the two try advantage. Going into the second half, New South Wales is going to take a big effort for them, but they did a good job in the first there, Jordan, to work their way back into the match. Definitely got themselves back into the match, and it came from the midfield for them. They, they cut out the little errors and then got back in, but Queensland on the attack right now. They go out the back. Ooh, many get hands on go. the ball. I would, I would like to see them again in New South Wales to clean that midfield up, get rid of the discipline and, and the little errors. And I think Queensland need to get live at the line again. It seems to be that New South Wales wanted to start to man on their four on three passing. And they look dangerous when they got Cox and Bob on the line. Trying to link up. At the moment here, Queensland. Cardell jinks around. Seamus Edwards, ball in hand. Cox. Left to right, looping ball over the top. That's by defence from New South Wales. Hugh Doherty getting over there and making the touch for the Blues. As they come over. Start making their way over towards their interchange area. Changes to come on to the field. Great release on that one. They make a lot of metres and they're going to fly onto the ball. Catalano Jr. He is playing the ball now. Nebel picks it up from half. Takes his time to hold back outside the seven. Lennon, nice ball. Lennon skips on the outside. New South Wales get first blood in the second half. Beautiful ball, but a great line as well. Run, sees open space and point for the Blues. That's the start that the Blues needed. Uh, you've seen Lennon all series start the game so well, and he has that ripper left to right pass. And Catalano Jr., Rather than running a topping line, he kind of runs that late, late out line and they get rewarded for that. Took a big goosey to 
Get away from the outstretched hands of the Queensland defence as well. He's certainly happy with those points. Pondon, big bomb out to Matters, and does he get it down in time? Yes, he does. And the perfect response from Queensland. And you mentioned that in the first half as well, that they just got to keep going with the uh, New South Wales team when they score points. They're backing themselves and their attack, and they're putting points on down the other end. Happy to keep that a two-try buffer, but Condon, captain, stepping up in the big moments with a massive left-to-right pass. We did mention he probably has one of the biggest ones in this tournament, so pulls it out at the right time there. Glennon this time, he gets the points on the board. He's set up so many himself, but diving on the outside of the Queensland defence, that's a good finish as well. And we have gone three tries to start this match, uh, the second half, I should say, as we have a look at the replay. Little Rooster early release play and then hits Lennon at speed. I've been super impressed with Lennon in all three games. I think he's been New South Wales' best so far, but still plenty of time to play left in this series. On a roll, plays it. Cox. Charlton can't get away. He did make him the touch. One to make here for New South Wales in defence. Edwards down the Ooh. back. It's off the fingertips there of Dry Charlton. New South Wales roll forward on touch one. That has to be over the mark, is it? No. I'm not too sure whether Cox end up making the touch. They did a good job to eventually get the ball down. You have to play the ball. Yeah, he away. looked like he was stumbling for a little while there. So, great job. You got Lennon out of half again. Bomb. That back over the top. Did it go backwards? Referees say yes. And New South Wales go back-to-back -back tries. And all of a sudden, they are right in the, up to their neck in it now. Locked up five tries apiece. We said Queensland just has to go try for try for them from then. But New South Wales say, we're not letting you do that. We go bang, bang. And Lennon all over this game at the moment. Queensland. Do they respond? Gardell, little pop back this time for Queensland as Condon takes his time on the back foot here, New South Wales. Condon, link ball. Ardita falls Intercept. into the hands of New South Wales and they play on. There's a bit of space in front of them. They might just keep their cool heads now. And that'll be touch zero as well off the intercept for the Blues. I think if they went left to Ardita, they might have been streaking away down the sideline. I think they got seven on. They've got seven on here. And the crowd trying to yeah. call for it. And I think they've missed it. No, they're going to come back now. Zach Jenrick never really misses those. And right there, does not miss that at all. And it's a massive call. They definitely did have the seven on. I'm not too sure whether you can see that on the camera. New South Wales playing player having to come off. But look at what happens as a result. They go all the way back up to the halfway line when they were, you know, defending in around that seven metre zone. So it's a really big turning point under so much pressure defensively and then just let them out of trouble with, again, just those little discipline errors. Uh, it's easy to do, Scotty. Uh, like in, in touch, you see it all the time. You just want to get on the field and get some intensity for your team, but now New South Wales have to defend their try line. Award, pump, Edwards. Edwards tries to get in underneath. Touch made. Whoop. That was close. There's a bit of finger pointing going on here. That was really close. And they're actually going to point to the spot now. Now, I must say, my gut instinct, I thought that Seamus got it down. A little bit of protest from New South Wales. We'll have a look at the replay. But the speed in which he goes from being upright down to the ground, unbelievable. Yeah, it's impressive, isn't it? I, I also agree. I think he gets that down. Try score on screen. James Edwards coming from up North Queensland. We we'll have plenty of family and friends tuning in. Had a great series last year as well. And also another one of those players who actually got to uh, represent Australia at the Oz Open. Yeah. Oh, a great touch, Jaden and Beachy. But they go to that same play that they scored off earlier. But Beachy this time up to the task. 
Junior takes the touch. Gives New South Queensland the ball back. And they get marched upfield. They're not returning the ball. And he takes the tap. He's up with Connor Rolf. Takes touch one. And roll forward on two as well. Take another hit up. As Queensland make changes on the far side of the field. That is coming in field to do some work. And now reset out to that right hand side. Fox meets back up with Connor Rolf. Rolf skipping away. Carlton directing traffic. Good space on the right. Hustle steps in. Left foot, right foot. Tries to burrow in underneath. There's their players offside again from New South Wales. I think we might have a penalty here. And one of the New South Wales players just grabbed Castles as he goes in and gets four sub for that. So that's what that's for. He just stops Castles being able to go at the line. Good and Bob and Fox now. Yeah, it's just going to say Queensland don't chance their hand. So the player is forced off with a slight advantage numbers wise. He's been pushing Chubb off the ball, nothing too much. Jardel goes back, plays it on the seven, receives the ball back. Fox. Touch is made. Edwards just sweeping around, sniffing around the football at the moment. Carlton dishes. Here he comes, Edwards. We'll play it. Whisker away from the try line. Bob forced to go backwards. Good defence from New South Wales, forcing Queensland to retreat. That's what you wanted. You, you don't want to give Queensland another two-point lead and up to the task defensively. Oh, strong touch there from Fox. Another strong one, Charlton. Moffat plays it. Dipping out. Just getting away there, Eagleton. Queensland back in possession. Contact again. Oh, looping Ooh, ball yeah, over that the top. Been... Well, we were pretty much right in line with that, and I'm going to make a call and say that that was forward. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Condon now going to have a chance. Picking up from half. He tries to loop it out the back. It does come off one of the New South Wales players, but definitely not play that. Had his arms away from it. Yeah. Back to the ref. Not me, not me. I do think it hit him in the stomach, but like you said, arms out. Definitely did not play at that. Great call from referee Zach Shenrick. Put the ball through the hands. Now New South Wales, Lennon. Has to reach for it. Ooh, for, maybe not square actually, I think that is. So roll ball just not facing the, uh, the try line. And Queensland now with great field position. They'll be wanting to send this two up with just under 10 to play. At least going to help them as well. Players offside from New South Wales. They throw their heads back. Not too happy with the call. Right now, this is. Well, there's still plenty of time on the clock. Scores locked up at five apiece. Every possession is going to be crucial in the back end of this match. Castles goes early ball to Rolf. And Lennon picks, picks that off. Carlton holds at the link ball, just goes through the fingers of Seamus Edwards. we back to New South Wales. They put it through the hands on touch one. Skipping away, William Hickey. Penalty to New South Wales, Queensland in the rough. So Carlton might have a shoulder injury here. Just holding the shoulder. Hopefully he can get through this set. Robinson gets the ball back. Sweeper coming here for New South Wales. Good defence from Edwards coming in and shutting that one down. I'm going to say ball down. The pass was released right to the touch. Ball hitting the deck. Queensland. All compressed around the football at the moment. And great pressure, Seamus Edwards. I think if that, oh, that might be close to a forward as well. Yep, referee Zach Henrik right on the spot. Couple of little errors creeping into both sides at the moment. And if you Queensland that one, that, that one hurts. You give New South Wales the best chance. 
with field position here. Tim Watkins, Catalano Jr. working with the ball. Rears plays it, goes down that short side, comes off the right foot, tries to slide in underneath. He's got his hand pointing up to the sky saying, I got it, sir. And convince the referees to think otherwise. You always have to ask, don't you? You've got to ask the question. Even though when you know deep down, you might not have got it. That one chance might work for you. Watkins off the left foot. Oh, that looping ball over the top. Doesn't connect. Mine's more just asking so I don't have to defend the next set, Scotty. So give me something to get me off the field. But Catalano Jr. did look sharp on that one. The battle continues between these two teams. And we saw a lightning start and points to law. It's been a really tight tussle between the old foes. And the last few sets, no one really able to grab a stranglehold field position wise. And mount pressure and repeat sets on the other defending their line. New South Wales, not a bad start, uh, position to start their set though this time around. And the big players need to start to step up for both sides. Again, a little error creeping into New South Wales with a forward pass from half. They're going to get cocked on the field with, uh, with Carlton. And Seamus Edwards, who's looked very dangerous in this game. That man, Seamus, who played the previous one, gets the ball back now as Cox sweeps. Carlton goes away from him, though. He's back up with Edwards. Carlton in the half again. Early ball, Edwards. Pump, pump. Tries to slide in underneath. I get it there. New South Wales. Nice metres. Could be the third touch. Gets him to halfway. Changes come on. Icky plays it. Catalano feeds it as well. Last touch here for New South Wales. Watkins on the wrap around. Watkins, he's got plenty of speed. Does he get Great in between touch. the defenders? No. Plays Prendergast with a massive touch there. Tim Watkins looked like he was slicing through. Matters. So just hold the ball up. Prendergast whips it out. Now to the right hand side. Moving away. Russell picks up a couple of extra metres. He'll take another hit up down the sideline. Great metres. That's probably what they needed after the first touch, getting jammed in on the seven metre line. They're going to have Condon out of half again. Here he goes, trying to thread it and on the back foot, spinning around into the line there. Connor Rolf, they're asking whether the touch was made. Zach Genrick. Six to go, great honesty, New South Wales. Indicating six to go, that is good sportsmanship at a crucial moment in the game. Full set of six here attacking the line for Queensland. Massive chance for Queensland to go two up with just under five to play. Condon again. Players onside. Great touch. Robert Catalano Jr. Clock starting to become a bit of a factor as well. We're going to keep one eye on that. Four and a half to go. What did Queensland do? Edwards. Oh, oh no. Adina. Taking the intercept. New South Wales. Zero touch. That's touch one. You oh, oh, they lose their way. A little bit of a miscommunication there. A couple of the Blues players looking at each other. As the coach from the New South Wales side just throws the water bottle. Not happy with their team at that one. And you wouldn't be. That's probably three or four sets in a row where New South Wales haven't gotten out of their half. We spoke about it. You can't give Bob, Fox and Crow chances on your line. Touch coming in on Crow. More of the same. Edwards shows it. New South Wales. It's going to go all the way down the other end. They need a cleaner set than what they showed last time around. If they can get it, it's a great set because they've defended and defended and defended, but they're still one try away, Scotty. They're in this game. Moffat. They pop out. Lennon. Lennon tries to get on the outside. Touch made. Edwards. Yes, on the boot laces. One chance here for the Blues. One play. 
Lennon just rips. And they throw the footy away. Under three to go now. Still get another possession, but this is a crucial set for them defensively. New South Wales, they want to try and keep Queensland as far down this end of the field as possible. That is what they're trying. But Queensland clinical through this part in this in this set. They'll oh. find Carlton. Yeah, steams on Carlton, picks it up. He just sends it out. It'll be a penalty. They won't mind that one. I think, uh, you know, it's more... That set's more just about getting down the other end and making New South Wales work really hard for it. And Charlton throws the ball as far as he can. But a fresh defensive line and set defensive line now to stop New South Wales. And Beachy doing just that. Great release. Over the halfway line they go. New South Wales. Carolina Jr. plays it. Last touch. Looking for offside players. And will get it as well. Heavy Nebel. Good experience there, even though he's a young man in the under-20s. He knew exactly what was going on there. Queensland players rolling in offside, and he just ran directly through them. Nebel again gets it, comes off the right foot, stretches. Was reaching for the line. Not too sure whether he made it or not. Queensland players again. I think he short. dropped that one, but obviously Queensland middles both offside, and they win themselves another penalty. That's two. Actually, I believe the first one might have been outside the seven, so maybe only one. Try to get in underneath again. Forward pass from half. Oh, oh, ball down. It. Well, that might have been their chance. New South Wales. Just over a minute left to go. Queensland, they can't. Oh, it's just going to say, oh, I was about to put the mock on. Yeah. I was going to say, they can't afford to have a mistake. And a little foot in the ruck there from the Blues. Queensland managing the clock now. Nothing silly from them. They just want to finish this set of six off. As the Queensland crowd ask how long's left from outside the window. About 30 seconds to go. That's all they've got to do to hold on. And Bob, watch Bob and Pock just get live at the line. They'll probably dive, let go of the ball. No, it goes from half. Oh, no one's bobbing over there. What do we got? 15 seconds. Queensland hold the football up again. Penalty. They're going to have to chance a hand. Ooh, looking to go down. The short side of the field. Drive for Adida. Let him pick up. Hooter is imminent here. There it goes in the background. They've got one more chance. As Watkins, he might be the man. He's got lightning feet. And they can't connect up. And Queensland, they flood onto the field after losing game one, fighting back in game two. They steal the series in game three in what was an awesome game of footy between these two teams. That was excellent. I know talking to some of the Queensland boys, they weren't happy with game one. And game two, they come out and show what they're made of. Game three, even better to stay in the grind with New South Wales. And they win the series 2-1. Good on Queensland. Once again, commiserations to New South Wales. I thought they fought and fought so well in this series and probably uh, don't deserve that feeling, but someone's got to win, someone's got to lose. So, commiserations. Yeah, they look pretty devastated out there. The New South Wales players, quite a few slumping to the ground at the conclusion of that match. But Queensland is winning the men's 20s division. As mentioned, after coming down from it, loss in game one, what an impressive response. New South Wales made them fight to the very death.